okay in the last session what we discussed creation of group company code shrinu are you there yes madam so creation of company company code also i created next what we have to create segments right segments let me create two segments so from where i can create i can create under from spr code right i'm going to spr code Okay, so now I'm in SPRO. I am going to path. I am using the path enterprise structure. Okay, and uh, definition financial accounting. Yeah. Define segments. Instead, we create company, company code, and segments. So, I am going to create two segments. One is for Hyderabad, and another is for segments. Okay. Instead, what is our company code of group N sixteen? Right. I created group N sixteen. Company code also N sixteen. Okay, so select new entry. So uh, let me create H Y D. H Y D. Okay, I'll do one thing just for easy identification. I'll give before N one six H Y D. Okay. N one six H Y D. Just for easy identification. Okay, and. Uh, Hyderabad segment for our company code N one six. N one six Bangalore. Okay. Bangalore location for JP. This is for N one six. Set. So I created two segments also. Okay. So next, what is our structure? Profit centers. Profit centers actually we have CO structure also. In the first session, I told you that we have CO structure. Can anybody remember that? What is the CO structure? Controlling area. Under controlling area, we create the Cost centers. You have to cost centers, right? So yes, ma'am. Right. So cost centers nothing but where exactly the production is going on, right? So again, this controlling area is uh, does not is it uh, physically does not exist. Remember, this I created for reporting purpose. Actually, CO itself for reporting purpose. Whereas FI is for external purpose, CO is for internal purpose. So for my Uh, internal purpose. I am maintaining the CO model means to know my cost of my product. Whereas FI for to know the profit or loss and to submit to the uh, legal entities that our financial statement purpose. We are maintaining FI. Okay. So CO, what is the structure again? Controlling area. Under that we have to create the cost centers. Cost center A, B, C, D. So all these cost centers will be created under one controlling area. This I will explain when we go for CO model. Okay. What what is controlling area? How many different scenarios are there? I will explain that. Then suppose I created one cost center A, so that cost center A is work for the steel product. Okay, so here in FI, what we created that products that products I created as a profit center. So I created one steel profit center in the FI. Okay, so. 
in this power center A, since it is working for the steel product, I have to assign that steel profit center into the power center A. Okay, again, so suppose now I'm posting some child risk to power center A. So I update the call center A. When I update the call center A, CO, call center A means it is a part of CO. When I update the CO with call center A, again, you need to update the FI. Srinu, tell me first. Again, you need to update the CO, uh, FI part. Yes, yes, madam. You need to update it again. Yes. Okay, Vishwana, mm -hmm. you? No, 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 no need to update. Why? It will replicate in uh, FI automatically. Why? How? What is the link? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, because of TR, uh, it will replicate in, uh, if you update in uh, I mean, CO, it will because automatically replicate. Yeah. Because of? Actually, every profit center have uh, different, different costing centers. So, uh, please. Whoever is asking me, they have to reply, please. No interruption. Yeah. Tell me, Vishwanath. You're almost there. Why I need why no need to update this FIRD? I am update, I'm giving the cost entry. Why no need to update this FIRD? Places like that. If you automatically why yeah why it is going to update automatically how because of tr uh, man, a transfer report no 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 Yesterday, uh, pare... no no okay Not TR. transport request no 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 that is different thing is, 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 is it because of the same controlling area who is this j yeah j here okay because of same controlling area. Wrong. Then what about Sai Raju? Yeah, Renka. Oh. The starting only told us that FI is integrated to CO. How I integrated that? Uh, with okay, the company but... and company code. No, no, no. Gayatri? Three. Next time. Next time. Okay. Vishwanath, you are telling it is automatically getting updated. Here is not. Transport request is not actually. That is transport request. We just we are uh, carry forwarding the configuration one server to another server. Here, this steel profit centers I am assigning to the cost center A. When I give the cost center A, your steel profit center is going to update. What is steel profit center? It is a part of your file. Yeah. See? So that is yes, a lot. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. So whenever I am going to update this cost center A, system automatically updates the file. I no need to update it manually. That is a logic. Yeah. Okay, fine. So, so profit center is part of FI as well as CO. Why? This I have to assign it to the cost center A. I mean, this I have to create under controlling area first. Thing. This profit center, first I have to create under controlling area. This controlling area I can assign to the company code. Okay, so to create the profit centers, I can't create right now. Okay, so I have to create first controlling area. Okay, let me create one controlling area. Right now, I can't create the controlling area because to create the controlling area, okay, we have to fulfill some basic settings. What is basic settings? Like what is your client chart of accounts physically here? So these are the basic settings we have to fulfill. Then those basic settings, I have to assign it to the controlling area. Then I create the controlling area. Okay, so after that, I can create the top set. Right now, I can't create the profit centers and also I can't create the controlling area unless until I finish some basic settings. But this company, company code segments, I can create without completing basic settings also. Clear? 
Yeah, ma'am, clear. Okay. And one more thing, anybody, if I ask, they, that person only have to respond. And the second thing, please respond quickly. Okay, fine. So next, let us, okay. And one more thing, uh, I have to, I create a company, company board segment, right? I have to assign the company code to company. That is, okay, I forgot that. Going back. So I create a group, which is company. I created company code. I create a segment. This company code, I should assign to the company. Okay. So it will start with the assignment. Here, financial accounting. And uh, assign company code to company. Assign company code to company. Suppose you have 10 company codes. Okay, 10 company codes should be assigned to under one group. So that at group level, I can see the consolidated data of 10 company codes. That is the reason assignment is mandated. Even one company code is also there, assignment is mandated. Okay, so select the position. Our company code is what? N16, enter. Right here, company. Company is nothing but group. N16. Save it. So this is over. So I just defined the structure. Then let us start doing basic settings. Okay. Basic C. It is coming here. Okay. Save it. And uh, Vishwana, this TR is for to carry forward the configuration from one server to another server. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, understood. That is the purpose TR. Okay. 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 And next, let me start with configuration with. Yeah. Our basic. Or basic setting start with creation of startup accounts. First thing, again, what is startup accounts? Startup accounts, suppose I want to create a GL account, salary GL account, rent GL account. I want to create the salary GL account. If I want to create the salary or these are the GLs, I can create under one startup account. Right? So under the startup account, I can able to see, oh, suppose you are trying to use N16 client is using uh, Thousands GLs. Those thousand GLs are where I can create under one chart of accounts. So if I give the chart of accounts name, yes, I can see all those thousand GL accounts. So what do you understand? Chart of accounts is nothing but it contains a list of GL accounts, first thing. And it provides the framework for creation of GL accounts. What is framework again? It means, suppose I want to create one salary GL account with the 4 lakhs number. 4 lakhs. How many digits it has? 6 digits. Suppose I want to create the GL account, salary GL account, my GL account with 7 digits. With 40 lakhs. How many digits? 7 digits. So that number we can control from chart of accounts. With what number you want to create the GLs, that number I can specify here. If you want to create six digit, you, have, you can create lakhs. Seven digit means 10 lakhs. Okay, so chart of accounts, it contains a list of GL accounts. Okay, and uh, it also mean, uh, it also controls the framework for creation of GL accounts. So for creation of GL accounts, right now I can't create a GLs. First, I have to create the chart of accounts. Okay, then I assign to the company code, then I can create the GLs. Okay, suppose here two requirements again, two options will be there. Suppose you have three company codes, one, two, three company codes. Okay, so three company codes having same requirement. Same requirement is what? They want to use the same GLs. Okay. Okay, since they want to use the same GL, I create one chart of accounts for the first company code. I create those GLs under the company code. Okay, what I'm telling? 
since the requirement is same for three company codes. Okay, first I'll create one chart of accounts for the first company code. Under the chart of accounts, I create the GLs. The same chart of accounts I can assign to the second and third company code. I no need to create for three company codes, three chart of accounts and three types of GLs for three company codes. No need to create because the requirement is same. I can create only one chart of accounts for the first company code. The chart of account GLs I can use for the second and third company code. Use for second, third means simply I assign that chart of accounts to the second and third company code. Also. I no need to create them again and again if the requirement is same. Is this clear? Okay. But if the requirement is different, what I do? I have to create, suppose, three company codes. Three company codes, they want to use the different GLs. Okay. In this case, I have to create the three chart of accounts separately, and the GLs also have to create them separately. Okay. If option one means it is easy for us, I can create only one chart of accounts. That chart of accounts, GLs, whatever I create under chart of accounts, I can easily copy to second and third company code. But whereas option two, since the requirement is there, we have to work okay, separately for each and every company code. Understood? Next, okay, this second option, what happened now? Suppose, second option, three company codes, they are using different GLs. Because the requirement is different, so I created the different GLs for each and every company code. Say, for example, first company code salary account is 4 lakhs. In the second company code salary GL account is 3 lakhs. In the third company code, salary account is 2 lakhs because the requirement is different. So I created separately for them GLs. Okay, it's okay, fine, no problem. But here, these three company codes under one group. When it is under one group, obviously the management, they want to see three company code salary data or not. They want to compare the, what is the first company code salary data with the second. They want to compare that. Okay, since three company codes requirement is same, okay, sorry, since three company codes under one group, okay, management wants to see three company code salaries data together. Okay, if I give four lakhs number in the report, I can see only first company code salary data. If I give two lakhs, I can see, I can see only third company code salary data. What if I want to see three company code salary data in the single screen? Again, we have to create one group code, say one lakh. That one lakh number, I have to assign three company codes and the GL account. Okay. So finally, if I give that one lakh number, okay, I can see three company codes and this data. So here, this group code, what I'm telling that is for to assign into the each GL of salary account and to see the report purpose only. So this group chart of accounts, how to create, how to create the group GLs, how to assign into the GLs, I'll explain in the not real time scenarios. This is the not right time to discuss all these things. Okay, just I'm telling this. Okay. If requirement is same, here in the above case, what is there telling? Here requirement is same, I create the same GL. So in each company code, the salary GL account is 4 lakhs number. In the report, if I give 4 lakhs number, I can see three company code salaries data together for consulted data. But here, since the requirement is different, I had to create the three GLs separately. For reporting purpose, again, I have to assign this group. So this, I will not show you right away. Okay, just remember this. I'll tell you in the real-time scenarios. 
Any questions here? Okay. Right. So, what I do first, I'll go with the first scenario. First, I will go with this first scenario, option one. This option two, we'll see later. Not now. Okay. So, option one, I'll create only one chart of accounts under that. GLs, uh, I can create all the GLs under one chart of accounts. If I want to use the same chart of accounts for multiple company codes also, I can use. Okay. Any questions, please? Please tell, is it clear or not? Any questions? So, yeah. So, usually there will be uh, one chart of accounts where all the GL accounts will be in that, right? And uh, we are saying the chart of accounts to the company code setting. That's what I'm telling. No, I can assign one chart of accounts to company codes, multiple company codes. Right, right, right. So, so in a, in other way, we can say that there is nowhere a connection between GL account and company code. Right? We we'll, we just assign the chart of accounts to company code. Ah, because GL accounts will be created under chart of accounts level. Okay. Okay. Not at company code level. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. So next, yeah, first let me create this. Let me create chart of accounts. I'm going to SPRO. Go back. Here. So if this assignment is over, close this. Financial accounting. GL. Okay, so here, GL accounts, master data. Preparations. Here, chart of accounts list. Double click, the P code is OB13. Can see here, okay, OB13. So select new entries. I'm giving the name for the chart of accounts also same as our company code name, just for easy identification. It's not mean that uh, I should create everything with the name of company code. Just for easy identification, even uh, when you're doing practice also, please use the same company code for all the things. When I create a physical year chart of accounts, anything I want to use the same company code. While doing practice, it is easy for you, okay? So I'll give uh, N116. Okay, so this is a chart of accounts for our company code or for our company. N16, okay? So in which language you want to maintain the text? English. Length of GL account. I want to maintain with the lakhs. So six digits. Maximum is 10. You can use maximum 10, but I want to use the six. Okay? So these I can discuss in the CBO. This is also group chart of accounts I discuss in the real time scenario. I just create the chart of accounts and I mention the length of GL account in which 
language i want to maintain the text of the gl english i just mention so then save it. save in your request okay then this chart of account i have to assign to the company okay i have to assign to the company code go back go back next assign company code to chart of accounts position company code is enter so i assign this chart of accounts to company code so this chart of accounts i can assign to multiple company codes remember if i have 10 company codes Uh, if the requirement is same, that chart of accounts I can assign to multi multiple company codes. Okay, my chart of accounts name also N one sixty. Save, save in the request. Okay, fine. Uh, can you do one thing? Can you please quickly rejoin? The time is going to up. Please.